I'm Trem, and today I have with me the Solidime P44 Pro 1TB SSD. Let's review! Having a look at the box, we can see that the packaging is compact and stylish. Opening up the box, we can see that it contains the SSD, packaged up well to avoid damage, and finally, like every other product, the instructions. Having the SSD in my hands, I can feel how light and well made it is, and its black glossy finish looks slick and sophisticated. Measuring out at a width of 22mm, a depth of 80mm, and a height of 2.38mm, this SSD is expertly crafted to fit in most motherboards with ease. Installing the Solidime Pro 44 SSD was a cinch, and it was easily installed in less than two minutes, slotting into the motherboard perfectly. If you'd like to use the Solidime Pro 44 SSD in your PC, the system requirements would be a 1x M.2 slot, a Type 228 PCIe Gen 4 NVMe interface support, a socket free, and finally, an M key. Getting to the technical specs of the Solidime Pro 44 SSD, we can see that it features blazing fast Gen 4 technology, a read speed up to 7,000 megabytes per second, a write speed up to 6,500 megabytes per second, a 4K random read of up to 1.4 million IOPS, and a 4K random write of up to 1.3 million IOPS. For those looking for energy consumption as well, when powered on, it takes 7.5 watts and on standby, less than 50 milliwatts. Additionally, the Solidime Pro 44 SSD is compatible with the PS5 system, though heatsink is required. Testing out the Solidime Pro 44, we have conducted four tests, including a PC restart, where the OS has been loaded onto the SSD, we've chosen Windows. A first time game load up, we've chosen Hades, which will then go from system to menu and menu to games. Additionally, with that, Hades has been also installed onto the SSD. And finally, we did a sequential read to benchmark the speeds. Starting off, using a PC restart, we can see how fast the start time is. Rocking in at a speedy 11 seconds, it's an ultra fast restart, which is exactly what you'll after when getting an SSD. To ensure we got an accurate result, we did the test again, and we saw a similar result of 10.39 seconds, which we feel is an essential part of why you should buy an SSD. Next, we decided how long it would take for a game to load up. So we decided to go from system to menu, and then finally menu to game. We decided on Hades as its personal favorite of mine, and now you can see the results. First, we started from Steam, And in less than 20 seconds, 17 to be precise, you can see that we're all ready to the menu of Hades. And then finally, we decided to go from the menu into the actual gameplay. And you can see even faster of 2.27 seconds. That is speed. And finally, we did the standard sequential read test measuring the read and write of the SSD, which you can see on screen for yourselves. We also would like to add, to maximise these results even more, we recommend downloading the free Solidime Synergy software, which includes the Solidime Synergy Storage Driver and Solidime Synergy Storage Tool. The Solidime Synergy Storage Driver automatically and invisibly boots performance by making under the hood improvements to the connection between SSD and host system. And the Solidime Synergy Storage Tool offers a modern user interface for drive health and information reporting, plus the ability to manually trigger useful functions such as diagnostic scan and secure arrays. More details of this actually can be found on the Solidime YouTube channel. Overall, the Solidime Pro 44 SSD is an ultra fast piece of tech that is essential for any PC build 
or even your PS5 you're looking for that extra space. It's super fast read and write as coupled with its low energy consumption and the amazing Solidime Synergy software makes an essential component for your PC engineered for high performance gaining content creation and PC workstations. So that was the Solidime P44 Pro SSD. But what do you guys think at home? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video give us a like and make sure to subscribe. I've been Trem, check out our socials and I'll see you next time.